Lorna, Helen, and I went to Europe in 1957. We sailed from Montreal on July 12th and landed in Liverpool five days later. We hitchhiked from London to Edinburgh and back. A new experience for two of us. Got rides in all shapes and sizes of vehicles. Austins, Ford Anglias, vans, lorries loaded with unbleached cotton or wool. We traveled with a Scotsman home on leave from India. He showed us the Royal Baths and the Angel Pub. Then over to the continent to head north. We saw Brussels putting on a new face for the 1958 World Fair, sped along the Audubon with no speed limits, riding in Jaguars and Mercedes, and the drivers bought us lunches. We met an American GI who insisted we all travel with him in his TR3. We soon reached Norway, the reason we'd started this trip in the first place, and saw Oslo from the new modern city hall to the ancient Norwegian village. Traveling north, we learned that farmers dried their hay on fences because it wouldn't dry on the ground. Cars were a luxury item in Norway, and 10 miles south of the Arctic Circle, we hitched our last ride. We had to take a boat from Harstead to Tromsø. August the 23rd, we arrived in Tromsø, 200 miles above the Arctic Circle. We'd missed the midnight sun, but the sky was still light at 11 p.m. Helen's grandparents, Bestafar and Bestamore, and her aunts and uncles treated all three of us like family for our 12-day visit. We took a ferry to the mainland and climbed Mount Floy and were quickly above the tree line. From Storstein, the top, we could see Tromsø on the island in the fjord. We spent another long 12-hour day on the mainland fishing and exploring. The families had five meals a day, open-faced sandwiches for breakfast. Mmm, the food was good. You thank the mother for each meal. Tuck for mott. I did learn some Norwegian. Lorna, Helen and I recently shared my journal, letters and pictures and found ourselves immediately back on this fun-filled journey.